Hello and welcome back to StarCraft 1, Part 21. In this episode, we will be doing Eye for an Eye. Eye for an Eye! <laughs> that was the opening track from Soulfly's debut album. It's called Eye for an Eye. <laughs> I don't, I'm not sure if I like Eyeball Man talking about harm to his squishy little eyeball body. What? Is that? Oh, yes, right. Zaz died uh, before the start that, of the that, was a, that was a different... My people, the elders bounced five meters in the air because their ancestors bounced six meters in the air. Do I make myself clear? Hi, Dagoth. <laughs> Reporting in, my squishy master. <laughs> Indeed she will, except not really. Kerrigan is not an important part of this mission. Although she is here, so... Unlike last mission where she was not. Oh, well... Welcome to the yes, mission. Yes, welcome to this mission. We are here. I dislike this mission. You'll notice that we actually have a sizable, uh, sizable force right off the bat. There's a reason for this. This mission nice. is entirely based around using the Nidus Canals in order, to, in order to prevent specifically the Dark Templar from fleeing. However, as you might know if you are a Cloud person, the Dark Templar are permanently cloaked. So, um, you need to have overlords at all, yep. three, of, at all three of the beacon, beacons that are across the map. If any of the, if any of the Dark Templars step on the beacons, you lose! You lose! Ha ha ha! Oh Christ. I thought that there was some shit about to happen because one of the objectives said don't let Dark Templars escape. That's like don't let Ganado walk through door with girl. That's like fuck you if you're just not paying attention for that one critical moment when the game depended on it. And for some reason the Protoss here are both blue and green. I don't know why. But yeah, use uh, use the hatcheries that are spro uh, spro uh, sprawling about the map in order to in order to triple your production early on, so you can get uh, the minerals investment that you need uh, for the beacon defenses, not base defenses. Although we'll need some base defenses later um, uh, for uh, establishing our second actual base. You'll notice that there that the uh, the additional uh, the additional uh, hatcheries that uh, that you spawn in with do not actually have minerals or vespane at them. This is str this is mostly because you're you're only supposed uh, to use these uh, for uh, unit spawning uh, so that you can, you know, well, spawn in the units that you need in order to prevent the Dark Templar from escaping. It can be quite a bit of a hassle, though. Uh, uh, uh. Especially since we started off at such a low end, uh, low end of tech. But we do have Ultralisks now. Ultralisks do very well against Dark Templar so we and do almost spread nothing out. else. Hmm. Well, that's that's a good thing. We we need defense against those. We need some anti Dark Templar. Mutalisks I've, I've do heard their job that better. They can be quite dickheads. Mutalisks do that job way better, but uh, but Mutalisks are expensive. Oh, Ultralisks AF. are more expensive. Ultralisks are two hundred apiece. Are two hundred. Uh, uh, minerals and Vespain a piece, as well as Forsai. They are slower than Mutalisks. Uh, they don't fly, and they can't shoot up. Ultralisks have a huge amount of disadvantage in comparison to Mutalisks. The big problem that Mutalisks have is that their damage output is ridiculously low. However, aside from their damage being uh, their damage output being low, they're the second best unit that the Zerg get. Second to only, the of course. To the Overmines. To the Hydralisk. Oh, glory. All to glory the to the Hydralisk. The Overmind is pleased. So, how long do you have before that little wincon starts to rear its ugly head? Ten minutes? Oh, fuck. How long, how long have we been? Okay, we got another five minutes. This is getting intense. 
mind you, uh, with the way that I have with the way that I have the uh, the uh, beacons protected right now, it's not likely that we're ever gonna see the Dark Templar. A matter of fact, I don't think we show off the Dark Templar during this mission. They just end up dying off screen as I'm micromanaging other things. There was one. Th there was one what? right there. There was, and we killed him. But I, I saw. I saw it. Kind of. It, it was on screen for just long well, enough to make it real. Well, its death animation was on screen. Just because I didn't see it didn't mean it wasn't there. I mean, shit, dude. Like, that, th I would be like, this is one of those missions that I would try maybe twice, if not just once per day. Ah, uh, once you actually establish that defending the beacons is all that really matters, you should be okay. But again, you have to establish that relatively quickly. I hate it when games need to game over me in order to teach me something. It's like, no, the game over is not a lesson; it's an end. The game is over. It doesn't keep going because you learned something. It's done. You can turn the game off and go have your ice cream. No. Did somebody say ice cream? I enjoy ice cream. <laughs> A Kerrigan enjoys ice cream, too. Uh, old Kerrigan did. I don't think that new Kerrigan cares about ice cream. I believe she enjoys the Neapolitan or something. Hmm. I'm listening. All right. Now, the whole reason why we have this particular force is not actually for beacon Save. defense. We want this base that's over here. This base that I had to lose this mission the first time in order to discover. All right. I bet those ultralists have very big shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Now, this does not honestly look all that important, but I assure you, the Vespain Geyser here is very important. <coughs> well, of course. Like, we, we've been... We've been feeding off of Vespain for the entire game so far. It's just... You need it. Ah. So, anything else new in the world of Cloud today? Oh, God, micromanaging. Uh, well, <sighs> spring is here. I, I tell me, meteorological. A lot of people say the meteorological spring, in this in this part of the in this part of the world, starts around April first. I like to believe it starts around April eighth. You got you got to give it another week to warm uh, up. I'm first. not sure because that that feels a tad late, honestly. Um. Uh, yes, you you are right. It is late, and it sucks. I mean. <laughs> Can we compromise on April 3rd? Yeah, right. it's too soon. Because, like, I mean, last year, the first day of spring, it snowed. And then the snow did not melt for, like, a whole week or so. Yeah. Just don't don't start you know taking out your lawn furniture because you may you may wake up and like a big wintry bird just took a big shit on everything you took outside. All right, so we're upgrading into hive tech not necessarily so that we can bring out more ultralisks, but more or less because well we need high t we need high level in order to get level three upgrades on both ranged attack and defense and uh, f physical defense. God damn it! Uh, uh, where are they? Oh, yep. Mm-hmm. Well, we, we got a situation here. Yes, he is, but my hydralists are on the Fuck way. Fuck him. All together now. Fuck him. There. He has been thoroughly fucked. Very good. He, he has been fucked. <laughs> Over mine to be praised. Hatchery, there, finally, this hatchery I is see. done. I cannot unsee. We need to start uh, producing some overlords, uh, too, since uh, since our Psy unit is about to get, is about to get hit. 5,600 Vespain, that's 600 more Vespain that's than, that, than what is supposed to be there normally. Sweet. 
The Super Vespain Geyser. Hmm. Well, it's good to know that it's definitely good to memorize the enemy's behavior. That's as as a matter of fact, memorizing the the AI's behavior has been critical in pretty much every game I've played in the past like ten yeah. months. Yeah. Figuring out what the what the enemy is planning to do and then and then moving to uh, moving to either prevent or exploit it is very important. Hmm. I know I'm supposed to do something. Oh yeah, that's right. Click. <laughs> and more hydras, please. Thank you. Okay. Uh, so we have not yet done much exploring. We're not so going to do we're much already eight we're minutes into the, the map until we're ready to end the game, which is when we've got about twenty-four three-three hydralisks uh, with overlord support. Nice. Once we have well, once we have our three three hydras oh. <laughs> and with a de with decent overlord tech, then we will you know attempt to end the game. But for overlord tech, I do mean we won't need a uh, transport, but we are going to need speed and vision. Okay, so this is this is Manhattan over here. In the top left is Seattle, and the bottom right is the entire state of Florida. Can, oh, no, 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 man, can. We, Let's call it St. Louis. Can we go, can we go with St. Louis? Well, what? Yeah, the bottom, bottom right is St. Louis. Okay, bottom right is St. Louis. Top right is Manhattan, and top okay. left is Seattle. Uh, top middle, top middle uh, is Detroit. What do you think top middle should be called? <laughs> it's there. Detroit. Okay. <laughs> All right. What? Well, and that is. Mississippi? <laughs> uh, no, Mississippi would it be Mississippi? No, uh, Mississippi proper would be where the beacon actually is. Okay. Just as long as we're clear, we're gonna have to summon everybody from from the grunge to the Godsmack, all the There's way down Dark Templar. to whatever the hell they listen to in St. Louis. Modern. <laughs> we did not. We we did not like his uh, T-shirt, so we killed him. His hat wasn't funny enough. <laughs> yeah. But among the bases, who is going to strike first? Well, our bases are just gonna are mostly just gonna uh, produce uh, produce our stuff until we're until we're ready to uh, to smack the uh, Protoss bases. The Protoss base that we're mostly concerned about is the one, in fact, in the bottom right, uh, bottom left rather. Yeah. So we're going to Los Angeles. Yes, we're going to go kill Los <laughs> Angeles because their grunge bands have decided that they want to start a feud with our grunge bands, and our grunge band just ain't having that shit. No, well, I wouldn't. I mean, they would definitely be in the minority. Unsupported grunge and largely metal and rock conquered Los Angeles, as well as some hip hop. Whoosh. The game. Playing the SmackDown on fools. It looks like we've done complaining about water and shit. It looks like we have successfully finished getting uh, uh, the the pneumatic carapace, which is the uh, which is Overlord Speed. Carapace. Yes, carapace. You watch your ass. <laughs> <laughs> so you never know when the Dark Templar will smack you with a dictionary. Except that, See? except those are just dragoons, not Dark Templar. More dragoons. That mother, that motherfucker is around here All right, now somewhere. we're starting to scout out to, to see what we can see. They actually have an outpost here. God damn it! I can see for miles and miles. I can see for miles and miles. And there's even minerals here. Shit, Reavers, run! Fuck Reavers. Run, run. Get, get away. Get away. It sick? is not safe. I hate Reavers. 
and in the next part. Fuck Reavers, but we will be finishing off uh, I, uh, I for an Eye. I for an Eye! <laughs> no, no, no.